So I've just created this solar dashboard in Mango Automation. It's using a SunGrow hybrid solar regulator. We have a uh, 470 amp hour, 48 volt battery bank. Uh, five kilowatt solar array. And this little picture here shows the hybrid inverter. Yeah, house, what the house is consuming. And then the, the backup supply from the mains. It's reading the SunGrow solar regulator through Modbus TCP IP. And the update rate is about every two seconds. It's a cloudy day at the moment where this site is located. But there's still a bit of energy coming through the coming through the system. So the dials on the top left show you the string voltages. So we've got PV1, PV2, and also the current coming from the, the two arrays as well. So at the moment we've got two amps here. The solar right now is producing about one kilowatt, and you can see 700 odd watts is charging the battery, and the house is consuming about 350 watts. So if you, if you add these two numbers together, it shows that the solar array is basically powering the house completely and also charging the battery. And if it was a, a bit more sun around, it'd be charging the battery uh, a lot harder than, than what it currently is, but that's still fine. It's still topping it up. And if we look at the dials down here, we've got state of charge. So that's just a percentage of the battery charge. You can see here it's currently 52.6 volts. We've got 15, 16 amps going into the 48 volt bank. So that's all right for a cloudy day. And then we can just see the, the same measurement, but as in watts, how many watts is going into the battery. And here we've got the household usage, what the house is consuming. And this ergon power, if this is negative, it means that we're using, or zero or negative, it means that we're producing and using the power. And if we go in a positive direction, it means we're consuming ergon energies, electricity. And we've also got on the side here, power factor, uh, grid frequency. And very importantly, we've got the mains voltage as well. And it shows the daily consumption of the house here, the daily charge, so that's how many kilowatt hours we've put back into the batteries, and how many kilowatt hours for today the PV has produced. I have to slow the update rate down here. Every so often we get a dropped packet. Just ignore that for now. All right, so. Mango has a great uh, historian that comes with it. So we can have a look at some of the data we've collected. So that's one of the great things. It sits there taking measurements every couple of seconds and writing that into a database. So on, on rural feeders, which this installation is, uh, if everyone on the rural feeder is pumping in solar energy, then the grid voltage can get a bit out of control and this, this installation has had some issues with the grid voltage. We won't see any extremes today because it's cloudy, but just to give you an idea of, of what the data looks like. So here's our grid voltage. You can see some, something put a big load on the, the network there at 10 past seven in the morning. And you can see we've climbed up to Oh, about 244 volts at one point. But anyway, it gives a good record of what the mains voltage has been, has been doing. So if there is a problem with the supply, you will, you will be able to, to have a look at that and have evidence that something is going amiss. And we can look at our factory voltage. Scroll down here. So where it's flat, that means there was no sun on the solar panels. Again, cloudy day, right from sunrise, it's been cloudy. So nothing, nothing, nothing. 
and then at about eight o'clock we see the battery voltage start to climb as the solar's starting to top the batteries back up. So great little um, great little historian that comes all part of Mango. Capturing all that data, making it easy to read. And if we just click on this little this little box up here, it'll close the sidebar. And there it is. So the sun might be peeking out from the clouds at the moment. There's our PV currents are going up to three and four amps. See, we're putting in about 2.4 kilowatts. And our battery, battery volts have, have gone way up, 29 amps we're putting in there. Um, battery bank is 470 amp hour lead acid. So at a 10% charge rate, the charge limit is 47 amps. So we're not quite at the limit that we can safely top up the batteries with, but it'll get to 47 amps and it'll back off there. 